Hey there, folks. If you've been keeping up with the vaping scene at all, you know that the FDA has really dropped the harm reduction ball and rejected over 99% of all PMTA applications. In fact, they've only granted marketing authorization to four companies. The Philip Morris Icos Heat Not Burn, which was removed from the market due to an R.J. Reynolds patent violation. The crappy View Solo, which sucks so bad that it's not for sale anywhere. The Japan Tobacco owned Logic Vape Leaf, Heat Not Burn, Logic Power, and Logic Pro Electronic Cigarette with their tobacco flavored e-liquid capsules. And lastly, the recently authorized Enjoy Ace with three tobacco flavored pods. Now I could easily explain how the FDA is harming public health by catering to big tobacco. But today's video isn't about that because I finally got my hands on the first real vape granted FDA marketing authorization in the United States. This is the Logic Pro electronic cigarette and a box of menthol e-liquid capsules. Is this thing any good? Well, the only way to find out is to do an unboxing of this thing and try it out for myself. So, ain't nothing to it, but to get into it. Whoops. Sorry, folks. I'm still in the middle of construction. Give me a second. There we go. So let's get this thing opened up. They got some little tape on the sides of the box here. And something that uh, you need to be aware of that my wife learned the hard way. This is just a device. This is your cartridge with your capsule in it. Now the menthol hasn't received PMTA authorization yet. They're still working on it. But if you've followed the news at all lately, you'll know that they're looking to ban menthol. So this might become a collector's item. Regardless, here's what the box looks like. And in the fine print in the box, it tells you that there's no capsules included in it. But inside, we have ourselves a user manual We have a top piece that the capsule is gonna go into. We have a battery unit. This looks like a miniaturized version of the Aspire product I first tried to quit with. Is this thing gonna be worthwhile? Or is the average smoker gonna be in the same boat I was in when I first tried to quit? Nice charger. And your package contains two vials. Rubber seal. Rubber seal on this end. Doesn't go in that way. Goes in that way. And there we go. Five clicks to turn on. Not draw activated. Okay. Has a menthol scent to it, but it really has no flavor. Interesting.
Interesting. All right. I'm going to go use this for a while. And I'll be back with my final thoughts. Hey there, folks. Normally I use these things for like a week or so, but it's been 24 hours since I did the last recording. and I don't like this thing. It has no flavor whatsoever. Well, just a hint of tobacco flavor. You get a menthol sensation scent to it, but it's got no flavor. I mean, it's got no taste. And that was the one thing about this Aspire kit. If you take a look at that, is a change that you can taste. So I resurrected it. Even in mouth to lung mode, there's nice flavor to this. It's not as good as like this Arbiter Solo. Now that is flavor that you can taste. This Logic Pro. I'm sorry, but this Logic Pro has no real flavor to it. And it times out. If you leave this thing sitting on the counter for like 10, 12 minutes, it shuts off basically. So you gotta click it five times, get the blue flashy light to flash. Ugh. And if you suck too hard on it, you flood the thing. Then you get this drip of this menthol-y liquid in your mouth. It's disgusting. I gave it to my wife last night. And I asked her, I'm like, what do you think? If this was only the option you had, what would you go do? She's like, I'd go buy a pack of cigarettes. Because this thing is useless. It's horrible. Barely makes any clouds. Nothing like a real vape. That is what I need to be able to not smoke. Are there going to be some people that are going to be able to go out and buy this and quit smoking? Maybe. But I wouldn't put my money on it. You can tell this is a big tobacco product. because it's just not going to achieve the objective of transitioning somebody away from combustion. This is Spire. Atlantis. Has more flavor and more potential to stop somebody from smoking than this Logic Pro. It's a nice device. It's not that cheap, but I mean, compared to what I paid for this, this is way cheaper, but this is something that I'm not gonna use again. I doubt I'd even finish off this capsule of cartridge on here. I mean, yeah, it's nice, it's a pencil. You can put it in your pocket and you can go out and about do your business, but the FDA has really done the pooch screw to harm reduction. This thing is 
This thing is available in a multitude of flavors. Matter of fact, I think when it first came out, it was available in eight different flavors. And it probably still is. You just have to go find it out of the United States somewhere. The other thing that the FDA did the pooch screw on is this Logic Pro is only available in a 20 milligram concentration. That's why I think it's not gonna be enough to stop a smoker and transition a smoker to vaping. There just isn't enough nicotine in it. And you gotta puff on this thing like you would for a full cigarette break before you start to get any sensation of nicotine in your system. That's not gonna work. The reason modern vapes are so good is because it can get the blood levels of your nicotine up to the point where your body craves it. This is more like a patch. You put it on your arm and then you wait for it to finally get into your blood system. To be honest with you, the flavor on this thing is so bad, I'd probably suck on a wet tampon before I choose to use this. What a disappointment. This is not a benefit for public health. Yeah, it's a benefit for public health that this is gonna be readily available everywhere, but the device is horrible. I'm sorry, folks. I wish I had better news for you, but quite honestly, this Logic Pro is crap. If you're a mouth to lung vapor or smoker trying to quit, there are literally hundreds upon hundreds of other devices out there that are gonna be way better for you than the Logic Pro. And if you need more vapor, and you're a direct lung vapor, stick with something like the Arbiter or the Arbiter 2. Even running that at a bare minimum wattage gives you more vapor and more flavor than the Logic Pro. And if you don't wanna deal with rebuilding, go with the stock coil option like this Maxxis Max. Real flavor and real vape. So I guess that wraps it up for today. My wish is always peace, love, and a hunky vape to stay away from deadly combustible tobacco. See you on the next video.